to take a little bit of flour and put it on the board here and I'm going to spread it like that, roll it and knead it until it gets firm. I can feel when it gets firm. I would say my childhood was honestly just like bliss and so much fun and great memories with my siblings. We're all really close, which I'm so blessed with. Um, we were just kind of always close-knit from the beginning and our cultures of Lebanese and South African. My dad was Lebanese and my mom is South African. So just kind of converging those two cultures growing up was really unique for us and something that I've always felt was super special. My father is Lebanese, he was Lebanese, and uh, growing up he kind of immersed us in that culture. We would go to Lebanon every summer, visit our family there, and food was just always a big thing. It's what brought us together um, all the time. Like we'd sit and have family dinners every single night and I think that that's where our love for food, cooking and baking really came from. It was become, it came from him and from my mom together. When my dad passed away, he passed away two days before Christmas and it was just a very shocking event and it was something that we've like never really gone over. It's been really devastating for us and um, he, kind of didn't really leave anything for us. It was just something that we didn't really know how to move on from. We had to kind of figure out life after loss and him being, just know, knowing that he is above and watching us and being our biggest uh, cheerleader and motivator, we know that we can do this and that he's with us while we're doing it. I was working and I was let go uh, at the beginning of COVID, so I, had to think, well, what are we going to do? Um, and the girls came up with a really good suggestion. That was when we were kind of thinking, you know, what can we do? Like, what are we known for? What will people like? You know, what can we do together? We really wanted to do something together. We decided upon baking, making a baking business um, to make money during COVID. We kind of just all sat around the kitchen table one night and we were like, what are we good at? What are we known for? Food, baking was always the answer and we just kind of took that and ran with it. We started our little business around the table and uh, it started off so well. We created a social media account and a logo and it looked, when we look back, it was pretty reckless to kind of just take it that quickly, but I'm so happy that we did because it just showed our tenacity to get it done. We're a three-generation woman-owned business, so it's just really cool to have this like cultural and familial tie with my family and kind of put that into work. We all kind of created this login and we're going on Canva and making logos and posting pictures that we had of my grandma baking bread just because she bakes every other weekend and that was kind of the beginning. We took our strengths into account and we kind of went on from there. My grandma and my mom being the bakers, my sister Kayla and I, we were the social media and marketing managers and Amber is an organizational kind of queen and we kind of put her into that realm and we just kind of soared on from there. I think working with family can be testing sometimes for sure, but at the end of the day you always come together and you're always working towards a better future and a better product in the end. It's been an experience working closely with my sister Chloe. I've never been able to do something like this with her with the social media and marketing. So it's been super fun. And I think that um, something I just even realized the other day is that I feel like I'm probably more conservative or detail oriented in regard to planning out the media or whatever it is, um, and she'd say, I say she's a bit more the opposite, kind of like free-spirited. Oh, oh no, <laughs> it was just joy. We worked very well together. We had actually very little, you know, no problems or whatever. It is just, from the beginning, it was smooth running, yeah. So what's unique about our business is that my grandma is 80 years old and she probably has more energy than all of us combined. Um, she hand kneads all of her bread loaves and it takes her two hours to kind of complete one bread in total. 
when uh, I was small, it was in the 1940s, and uh, we had to bake our own, my mother, and uh, we used to sit around the table, watch her bake all the bread, and I've been baking ever since, because everybody enjoys the bread. She always says, like, go to the market and see how much preservatives and how many ingredients you have in that bread loaf and see how much I put in mine. And she goes, I have five, and you can see it on my on one hand. And there's only five ingredients in the bread, which is very healthy. Honestly, it's been so cool just to see how many people are willing to support us and just love to hear about our story. Seeing, like, a true community come and support you, it's so eye-opening, it's so amazing. And especially where we live now, um, there's so many young families. Uh, it's so great to kind of see that they will support you, not just once, but three, four, five, six times. We, we were quite surprised that we got so busy and we just kept on and it was getting bigger and bigger and better. And uh, we enjoyed it. It was a great success. I want us to be a known name. Like, I think our story is something that could push us there, and I think our bread matches up to that story. Like, our food is that good, and our baking is that good, and I know that we could do it. I'd like to see it go much bigger than what it is. Um, ultimately, I'd like to see our product in stores. Um, you know, that would be that would be the ultimate, I think. Um, and to see how we get there. Hopefully, you know, slowly but surely, we'll get there. I don't think we really expected that in one year we would have grown over 3,000 followers and sold over 10,000 banana bread and bread loaves. So we honestly are just taking it day by day and see where we end up and we're very hopeful. We're in such a better mental health category where this business has kind of elated us and put us in such a great vibe like we are so excited to make more bread and get more followers and kind of show what we can do to start a small business you just have to have an idea and believe in what what you're making or what you're doing and um it will prevail in the end oh i have learned you know you're never too old to start a business absolutely not you know you can do it if you enjoy it and that's what i'm i'm just carrying on you know and i'm feeling great mm -hmm. continue whatever you want to do and fight and work hard and you will succeed and you must enjoy it that's very important